What's up guys, Hao Nguyen here for a Golden Nugget book review and in today's video I want to talk about book um, the, uh, the Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort. So in this channel what I do is that I read books and then I share a golden idea, golden nugget sorry, and a key idea uh, from, from the book that I find interesting and that I find that might be actually practical, right? Because sometimes when you read books, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of his, a lot of the stuff sometimes is just repetitive or it's just fluff or it's just examples, you know, sometimes you just want to grab that one key idea out of it and that's it, you know, and you just go about your day. So that's what I do. Sometimes I read books cover to cover. Sometimes I don't, uh, sometimes I skip around. So, you know, I, I just like to read and uh, I like to share uh, what I read. So in this book here, right, it's, it's a sales book, by the way. So Jordan Belfort is a big, uh, used to be a big Wall Street guy. And then, well, they made a movie, so you guys probably know what's up with him. Okay, so in this book, it's a sales book. And a part of the book that I found interesting was, uh, well, I find the whole book interesting, to, be, to, tell you, to tell you the truth, you know? And a part that I find that I want to share in this video is about body language. So what that is, is that well, when you're selling, body language is important, right? So there was three things that I'm going to talk about in this, uh, in this video here. So the first thing is um, how you should actually stand when you're in front of a guy. So if you're a man and then you're standing in front of another man, then what he's saying is that you shouldn't stand like directly face to face. Because if you stand face to face and you make like eye contact and you're talking like that, it's kind of aggressing. It's kind of confrontational, right? So you don't want that if you're trying to uh, build rapport and, 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 and sell something to the guy. You want the guy to be at ease, right? To, be, to feel comfortable, to feel relaxed, like if you're kind of a friend. So the way you do that is that instead of standing face to face like this and just talking and blah, 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 right? Then you kind of angle off like that. So you would stand, you know, you wouldn't be like this, you would be like this. So you would be at an angle and then you would, you would make eye contact once in a while, but then you would talk and then, you know, it's like you guys are looking at a scenery and you're talking at the same time. So it's more relaxed, it's more um, comfortable, you know, less confrontational. And I definitely gonna try it, you know? I, I, th I think it makes sense. So, you know, like whatever I say, if it doesn't make sense to you, well, obviously, you know, don't use it. But if it does, then, hey, give it a shot. Why not? It's free. Okay. And the other thing is that, but if you're with women, it's actually the opposite. So if you're a man and you're facing a woman, uh, then yeah, it's, it's actually a good thing. I think it's because uh, facing a woman shows that you're confident, shows that you're, um, you're there, shows that you're, um, you have some sort of authority or whatnot, you know and you're not like squeamish and running away you know with women it's different according to him you know but with men <laughs> if you stand in front then yeah it, it's it's a little bit more awkward so to speak right and the one last thing i want to touch on because these these videos here they're made to last five minutes and under right so that way um you know you, you don't you know, it doesn't take too long it's 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 painless so to speak okay so the last thing is the handshake so how should you shake someone's hand should you shake it like really soft or should you just try to crush his hand you know there's a lot of different opinions on it but his opinion is that well too soft right it's like you don't care right so that's not good like if you shake somebody's hand and and they get the feeling that you're trying to brush them off or you don't give a you don't give a crap about them it's not a good thing now if you go you know you, you crush your hand and you're trying to you know it it it, it makes it look, seem like you have something to prove so if you have something to prove people don't like that it's it's kind of um confrontational right it's like okay well, who's this guy you know so the the best approach according to him is to really go hand to hand so you're not trying to grab over them or, or whatnot some people try, try to grab over and crush the hand but you just go straight right so i, I know i'm not doing it but you know what i mean clap head to head and then from there a firm handshake and that's it like if you squeeze a little bit harder you could try to match him but don't try to over overpower him you know so to speak and if he's stronger than you well hey you know try to just keep up kind of thing but you know don't turn it into some kind of grip battle or anything like that so hand to hand firm handshake that's it you know you don't have to too soft or try to do anything try to impress the guy because nobody's impressed by that like you're trying to crush their hand it's not fun like you meet someone for the first time like you know I, I think it makes sense so that's it for this video guys um here we're at four minutes 51 seconds so if you like the video like it share it and done